Hello everyone, welcome to CM Lunch Break. My name is Miss Zoe and this is... I'm Miss Hannah. And today we are going to be learning about junk food and Jesus. That's Say what? What? That sounds awesome. So Miss Zoe, what's your favorite junk food? Is it cake or maybe it's pizza or chips or candy or cookies? What is your favorite? I love chocolate chip cookies. What is your favorite? Probably pizza. I love pizza. I can eat pizza for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, any time of the day, hot or cold. I love pizza. Wow. What if we ate like that every single day of our lives? Well, I mean, I imagine I would really like it for a little while, but I don't know. Maybe after a while I might start feeling sick, but I guess that's just something you'd have to find out. So imagine on one day your parents just decide they really want to show you that they love you so much. So they let you pick whatever you want for dinner and it's gonna be your favorite food. But say your favorite food is Skittles. So they give you this huge bag of Skittles for wow. dinner and they're like, this is your dinner and we're giving it to you because we love you and we know that you love Skittles. So here's your dinner and you know what? You'd probably feel pretty happy that they gave you Skittles. Oh, I totally would feel mm -hmm. super excited. Yeah. Well, and day two, of having dinner, what if your parents decide to give you a chocolate bar, like this Mr. Good bar? Would you, do you think you'll be sick after that? Maybe, you might start feeling sick if you're only eating candy, but I mean, maybe you'd still feel pretty happy. But then what about maybe on day three, your parents are like, we love you so much, we're gonna give you this huge Kit Kat bar for dinner, and we just want you to eat it because it's delicious and we know you love it. But you know what, you might be asking for vegetables and chicken for dinner because you feel like your body really wants healthy food because you might start feeling tired yeah. or weak or sick from all the junk you've been eating. But your parents are like, no, you get this king size Kit Kat bar. Wow. So Miss Hannah, are you saying that if you only ate junk food, you would get sick and unhealthy? Well, I imagine life would be a lot different if you never ate any vegetables or chicken or any food that was healthy for you. Life would probably, you wouldn't be able to do sports the same. You probably wouldn't have energy. You were, might not be able to focus on your schoolwork. Your life would probably be pretty different. And that's why your family and actually God too wants you to eat healthy and they want to feed you healthy. Hmm. So what keeps us healthy, Miss Hannah? Well, it's funny you ask because obviously food keeps us healthy. Yeah. We can eat our vegetables, our protein. There's all the food groups that we need to make sure we have in our diet just to make sure we're healthy. But the Bible actually tells us there's another thing that we can have to keep us healthy. What is it? Um, in John 6 verse 35, it says, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never grow up, go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. It's kind of interesting that Jesus says he's the bread of life. Does that mean we're supposed to eat Jesus if he's bread? Well, I don't think so. I think Jesus is saying that whoever follows him gets to live forever and ever. And so how do you know how to follow Jesus? Hmm, that's a good question. If Jesus is the bread of life, I'm assuming that means we need to spend time with him so that we can get to know him. And in a way, I guess he would feed like our souls. Yeah, because too much junk food, meaning sin and anger, is really bad for our souls. And so the same way, junk food is bad for our bodies, so are ways of sin. That makes a lot of sense, and that's why it makes sense that Jesus would tell us that he's the bread of life because he can give us so much life. And, and really we can go to him to spend time with him and to pray and read his word and we can get fed in our souls from God. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So why don't you guys think of some ways that you can, in a way, not eat junk food for God and you can remember to eat healthy, but you can remember to spend time with God and try to stay away from being mean to your siblings and your family and yeah. to be obedient to your parents. That's some ways. Um, so why don't we just go ahead and pray for what we learned today. Dear God, thank you so much for this time that we had with the kids. And I just pray over them and over their hearts. And I pray that you will teach them ways that you will feed their souls and help them to go to you whenever they need anything. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
men. All right. See you guys later. Bye.